Good afternoon from the Hapone Sports Complex here at uh, Tagig City. It's another doubleheader of NBL action brought to you live on BTV and on the Facebook page of the National Basketball League. We've got another doubleheader for you on this beautiful Sunday afternoon. Our first game tipping off in a few minutes is between the Laguna Pistons and the Das Marinas Ballers Club. It's a showdown of two teams from the south. And in your main event at 6 p.m. tonight, you've got the Bulacan Makabayan taking on the hometown Tagig Generals. Now let's take a look at the matchup we'll be having first at 4 p.m. That's happening in a few. It's between Laguna and Das Marinas. There's a shot at Coach Rex Dedicatoria. He's taking the helm for, uh, for the Laguna Pistons. And here's Coach Asdiguro. You may recognize him from the, uh, from the NCAA Juniors ranks as the head coach of the Das Marinas Ballers Club, Das Marinas, uh, currently sitting at seventh in the standings at one and two as for Laguna. They're currently tied for second with a three and one win-loss record. That's what's going on right now here at the Hagone Sports Concle uh, Complex in the city of Taguig. My name is Stan C. By the way, it is my pleasure and my honor to be joining you this afternoon for this doubleheader. Let's take a look at the team standings right now. Uh, Laguna Pistons sitting comfortably at number two, just right under the Kamsor Express. They're coming off back-to-back -back wins. Three and one right now, that's their record. And as for Das Marinas, they're currently tied at seven alongside the Quezon City Rising Stars with a one and two win-loss record. Now, let's take a look at what Laguna did over the, over the weekend last week. They were in Camarines Sur and they had back-to-back -back wins over the Taguig Generals and the Nueva Ecija Go Best Friend. Here are the average stats from their last couple of games. They shot generally well from the floor. 50% from the field. They've also been rebounding generally well. 48 rebounds across both games. And they've also packed the paint. 56 points in the paint average over the last couple of games. That's something that Laguna has been taking pride in as they run their place through their bigs. That's something that Coach Rex Dedicatore has been telling me. Uh, before we started the game, they're going to be doing their best to run and then play big as they set up in the post and, the, uh, and to defend the perimeter as well. Now, here are the two best players from... Both of those games, starting off with Ralph Pantaleon, who really shone against the Taguig Generals. He had a double-double, 14 points, 10 rebounds, 7 of 9 shooting from the field. He's going to be starting today at center for the Laguna Pistons. And then there's Ari Santos uh, at guard for, for Laguna, who had an almost perfect shooting night. 29 points of, on 12 of 13 shooting from the field. Couple that with two boards and two dimes in that win against the Go Best Friend where they basically dominated Nueva Ecija. Now on the other side of the floor, you've got the Das Marinas Ballers Club. They're gonna be, uh, gonna be playing in their Sunday's best, their immaculate white jerseys for this afternoon. Now their record not as immaculate as they lost in their first home game against the Bulacan Makabayan. 84-92 was the score. Jan Cantimbuhan still doing relatively well. He had 22 points, but he struggled from the field. 8 of 19 shooting, coupled with 5 boards and 3 assists. Let's take a look at the field goal shooting because they've only been uh, shooting 36% from the floor. And that's uh, not the way you want to go if you want to rack up victories, especially when you've got a team like Das Marinas that isn't really very tall compared to the other teams in the National Basketball League. Uh, take a look at the assist numbers. 14 assists lang and 20 turnovers. That means that they haven't been moving the ball around very well. Not a lot of ball movement and they've been very careless with it as well. And that's one reason why they've, they've struggled to maintain a very low turnover count. Now looking at Das Marinas, two players are uh, yung kailangan natin pagtunan ng pansin. You've got of course John Cantimbuan who's been averaging 20.5 points per game so far in the three games of Das Marinas. And there's Clifford Castro who's been shooting very very well from the floor despite the not so good win-loss record of Das Marinas. He's averaging 18 points per game. Both of these guards are score first. Clifford Castro coming off the bench today. John Cantimbuan leading the pack once again. He'll be starting at point guard. Now we'll, we'll let you know in a bit the starting lineups 
for both Laguna and Dasmarinas. Coming right up, it's tip-off between the Laguna Pistons and the Dasmarinas Ballers Club. We'll be right back with more BTV, with more NBL coverage live on BTV. <laughs> Ang tahanan ng tunay na home ground. And now, let's make way for the starting five for both teams. Let's begin with the Smarinias Ballers Club. At point guard number zero, Puroy Cantimbuhan. At power forward number four, Vincent Gabriana. Small forward number six, Renz Brito. Coming in at center number 22, J.P. Rabe, starting at guard number 27, Mark Sornet. The Smarinas Ballers Club is led by Asli Guro, assistant coach Ryan Bahalia. And here's the starting five of your Laguna Pistons. Starting at guard number two, Aris Santos. Starting at forward number six, King Fadrikela at power forward number nine, Mark Dakis playing center number three. We got a starting lineup Ralph being announced Pantano. by our Coliseum Barker, Mr. Richard Dampos. Let's start off with Laguna. They've got Shin Manyaska and Ari Santos Laguna at guard at center, Ralph Pantaleon. And at the forward, you've got Mark Dakis and Kim Fadrikela. As for Das Marinas, you've got John Cantebuan and Mark Sornet in the backcourt. Your man in the middle, JP Rabe. And manning the forwards, you've got Vincent Gabriana and Renz Brito, the head coaches for both squads. For Dasmarinas, you've got Coach Asli Guro. And for Laguna, you've got Coach Rex Dedicatoria and our NBL referees for this afternoon. Eric Robles, Eddie Vista, and Gary Balawan, or Gary Bulawan, I should say. They're going to be officiating the action as we get set for tip-off. And Dasmarina wins the first possession as we get through the first quarter of our ball game. Dasmarinas facing a size disadvantage right now so they're gonna try to make sure that they light it up from the perimeter but they try to take it inside and Cantimbuhan loses it. It's gonna be Dasmarinas possession still with seven seconds left on the clock. Cantimbuhan inbounding it. That's a three-pointer and that's good. Mark Sornet. Mark Sornet drawing first blood. On the other end, fast break opportunity Three, for the Fadrikela. Pistons. Fadrikela with a quick layup. Scores tied two apiece. Here's JP Rabe over on the baseline. Finds Cantimbuhan, swoops inside for the quick Roy layup. Cantimbuhan. Give the assist to JP Rabe right there. Barely a minute into the action, and we've already seen three field goals from both squads combined. That's a reverse layup. No good offensive rebound for Laguna, but that's stolen by Das Marinas, and they're running the other way now. Here's Sornet. Lays it up. No good. Rebounded by Cantimbuhan. Scoops it in, and that's good. John Cantimbuhan now with four points in the ballgame. Four quick ones. Here's Sornet on the outside, guarded by Santos. Rabe over on center court. Cantimbuhan calling for another play now. Cantimbuhan guarded by Manyaska. Drives inside, passes it, and he loses it. Careless turnover right there for Cantimbuhan. Kandibuan, one of the leading scorers in the NBL right now, averaging over 20 points per game across his three contests dito sa NBL. That's a two-pointer, and that is good. Mark Dakis. Mark Dakis. With a perimeter jumper for the Laguna Pistons right there on that last play. Kantimbuhan almost lost it to Manyaska, recovers it, and he passes it this time. Gabriana down low, Rabe lost that one, that one's deflected and now Laguna has the ball, fast break opportunity, here comes Manyaska for the layup and he's fouled by Rabe. Shin Manyaska averaging 15 points so far over, over his last three games, let's take a look at, re uh, at, the, at that replay. There's Rabe hacking Manyaska on that play, that's his first personal. 
Manyaska now at the line. First free throw is good. That's two for two for Shin Manyaska. John Cantimbuan being issued a warning by the officials for faking a foul on that last play. And there's a whistle. That foul is going to be on Mark Dakis. His first personal. One for Laguna Pistons. Sornet now inbounding the ball for Dasmarinas. Here's Cantimbuan. Rabe giving him a pick, but no, he loses it. Recovers it, and it's a wild scramble for Manyaska and Cantimbuan, but Dasmarinas maintains possession. Here's Gabriana, nice handoff to Rabe. Elbow jumper is good. JP Rabe. JP Rabe with his first basket. Dasmarinas with another steal. This time, this is Cantimbuan. Nice pass from Gabriana to Sornet. Sornet. Quick basket down low. Dasmarinas pedal to the metal early on. Give the assist to Vince Gabriana. Here's Mark Dacus for three. No good. Rebounded by Dasmarinas. They're going the other way. Cantimbuhan pushing it. Nice pass to Sornet. Could not finish. Rebounded by, rebounded by Pantaleon. Time is ticking. Muntik na sila maabutan ng eight second uh, violation. Nice handoff from Manyaska to Dacus, but he could not float it in. Manyaska now, baseline jumper. That's good. That's four points for Manyaska. Over on the other end, here's Las Marinas. Gabriana almost lost that one, and he does. Here's Manaksa. Nice pass down low. Good layup attempt, but no good. Rebounded by JP Rabe. Nice passing from Dasmarinas. Gabriana lays it in off Vincent the glass. Gabriana. Dasmarinas up by four, 12 to eight. That's a three pointer for Laguna. No good. Dakis with a rebound. Second shot opportunity is no good. And Dasmarinas has the ball. Tosi Santos, you need to see Cantimbuhan. And there's a moving screen, an illegal oh, screen Vincent on Vincent Gabriana. That's, that's going to be a turnover and an offensive foul to boot. Let's take a look at that last play right there. Hindi the pa nakaset si Gabriana. And so when he collided with, when he collided with uh, Ari Santos, he got called for that foul. Now Clifford Castro in the game for Dasmarinas. I was mentioning him earlier during the pregame coverage. And now he's one of the guys who can really get hot in a jiffy. For Dasmarinas. Here's Castro with the ball. Nice pass to Sornet. Corner three. No good. Castro with the rebound. Tries to go inside. There's a foul. That's going to be on Pantaleon. Foul on number 13, Ralph Pantaleon. That is first. Let's take a look at that last play again. Castro trying to dribble inside. Gets hacked by Pantaleon. Game resumes and Clifford Castro, Clifford Castro makes his first basket off the bench. And he's going to the line foul for a chance to complete the three-point play. Ari Santos called on that foul. Let's take a look at the replay. Castro draws a pump fake. Goes up. Nice inside shot. Clifford Castro... Unable to convert on that three-point play. Sorry, he was able to convert on that three-point play. Now Dasmarinas is up 15 to 8. That's going to be Laguna ball as Mark Sornet gets called on the last touch. Substitution now for Dasmarinas. And for Laguna. Also, Serrachia Mejarab replacing Ralph Pantaleon. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Raja El Mejarab in the game for Ralph Pantaleon of Laguna. So, as you can see, Laguna Piss is really with a size advantage right here. 
always a big at all times on the floor. You take out Pantaleon, you put in El Medrab. These are guys that Coach Rex Dicatoria has a history with. He's played with them in various leagues seven across different shot. levels in uh, seven, the province seven, of Laguna. Seven. Speaking of Laguna, they've got possession. Seven seconds left on the shot clock with 4.36 left to the first quarter. If you're just joining us, this is the live coverage of the National Basketball League or the NBL. El Medrab posting up down low. Ooh, could not lay it in. Second shot opportunity. That is good for Jeff Disquitado. His first basket off the bench for the Pistons. Here's Dasmarina Salvador getting to touch the ball for the first time. Whistles blown by the refs. Alright, so that's that foul is gonna be called on Raj El Raj El Medrab. Michael Pingol coming in for Mark Sornet. That is the Substitution now, Mark Sornet going to the bench. He's replaced by Mike Pingol. He's inbounding the ball. Pingol gives it to Salvador. Salvador takes the jumper from the perimeter. Air ball rebounded by Manaxa. Whistles blown once again, and I believe there's a foul. El Medrab got hit on that last one. Tina natin yung replay. So it's a double foul. It's a double foul on Raj El Medrab of Laguna and Edward Villadares of Dasmarinas. So Laguna maintains possession now because of that double foul. El Medrab goes inside, takes that floater. No good, but he draws the foul and he's going to the line for two. That's going to be the second foul on Edward Villadares. Two quick fouls for Villadares who has barely seen any, uh, any action on the floor at this point. That's number eight, Edward Villadares. That is second. Look at the height disparity between Villadares and El Medrab. That's at least a six-inch height disparity right there. Kaya, if, if, you, if you could notice, walang verticality si Villadares. He was trying to play defense like he, he's Roy Hibbert. But he couldn't get that verticality in because there was no verticality. El Medrab missing that second free throw. So Dasmarina is still up by five, 15 and 10. 340 left in the first quarter. Kantimbuan with the ball. Kantimbuan driving left. Could not lay it in. That's rebounded by Laguna. Fast break opportunity. And that's good and for, King for King Fadriquela. He's going to the line. Let's see if he cashes in on that three-point play foul opportunity. 11, Pingol, that foul is going to be on Michael Pingol. His first personal foul as we look at the replay. Oh! He got hacked real hard right there. Sakit nun. Coming back in for Dasmarinas. Ballers claw. Mark Sornet for Puroy Cantimpuhan. Most free throw for King Patrikela. Sornet back in the game replacing Cantimpuhan. As King, uh, yeah, King Fadrikela steps to the line. Misses. No good on that three-point play. Sayang could have cut the lead down to two. On the other end of the floor, here's Das Marinas. Salvador with another long jumper. Hits the front of the rim. That's rebounded by El Medrab. Manaxa now with the ball. Driving left. Nice handoff. Elbow jumper is no good. Rebounded. And that is good Mark for Mark Dakis. Second shot opportunity once again. Here's another steal for Laguna. Can they take the lead right here? Yes, they do. King Fadriquela with another Manaxa. basket. Give the assist to Shin Manaxa. Manaxa has been setting the floor really well. He had a double-double, 14 points, 10 assists against the Marikina Shoemakers on September 9. That's when they last played. So, there's a little rust in Laguna Pistons since they haven't played since September 9. As for Das Marinas, they have hit a bit of a shooting spell right now. Nice passing. For Laguna, culminating in that basket for Raj El Medrab. And now the Pistons have taken the lead 18 to 15. 
if you're watching the NBL for the first time and you're wondering why the Laguna Pistons call themselves that, it's because yung piston yun yung heart of the of the car. Yun yung puso ng makine. Eh. And they equate that to playing with hustle, playing with heart. Diba sinasabi natin ang mga Pilipino kung maglaro, hashtag puso. Let's take a look at Pingol drawing the foul right there. Oh, nagkadulasan sila doon. Bunch of substitutions for both teams now as Michael Pingol steps to the line for Das Marinas. He's going to take two shots. There's a bit of confusion. And now Pingol has been taken out from the line and it's, uh, it's Herson Salvador at the line. Makes the first shot. That's Coach Asli Gurov, Das Marinas. Barking out orders from their sideline. And that's good for Salvador. He goes two for two from the line. Two minutes. Two minutes remaining in our first quarter of play. That's a three-pointer, and that's three good for Sean Sandoval. And now he's got an opportunity to cash in on a four-point play. That foul's going to be on Michael Pingo. That's number two on him. Let's take a look at that last play. Sean Sandoval pulling up. Pull up and wreck, as Big Sean would say. He made that three, and he fails to convert on that four-point play. What is it about today and the players not being able to cash in on that bonus free throw? Laguna up now though, 21-17. Whistle's blown. Blocking foul number 12, Renzi Blocking Omano. foul is going to be on Renz de Omano. Laguna is now in the penalty. That means Das Marinas will go to the line for a couple of freebies. That's Clifford Castro trying to drive inside. He got doubled by Sandoval and by De Omano. Castro now at the line. He makes his first free throw. And he's two for two from the free throw line. Clifford Castro now with five points. Whistle is blown. 17 seconds, on the shot clock. 17 seconds on the shot clock. It's Laguna ball. That's Amil on the outside, driving inside, and that's a turnover for Laguna. Offensive foul on Renz De Omano. His second personal foul now. It's going to be Dasmarinas ball. A lot of players on both sides getting early fouls. Getting themselves in foul trouble. Here's Pingol to Salvador on the outside. And that's a turnover. Sandoval with the steal going all the way. And that's good for Sean Sandoval. He's got five now. High scoring game we're seeing so far between the Laguna Pistons and the Dasmarinas Ballers as we get down to the closing seconds of the first quarter. Here's Sornet to Salvador. Salvador with a spin, but he lost control of the ball. Nice pass, but Amporio could not make it. Here's Laguna all the, on the other end. Floater no good for Disquitado. Das Marinas back the other way. Here's Salvador. And he's called for a traveling violation. Another turnover for Das Marinas. Twenty-one seconds left on the shot clock. That means sorry, twenty-one seconds left in the quarter. Shot clock has been turned off. Laguna up by four, twenty-three to nineteen. Amil going right. Pulls up. Rebounded by Laguna. Second shot opportunity. That's a three, three. and that's good for Jeffrey Disquitado. And the first quarter ends off that three from Disquitado for Laguna, putting the Pistons up by seven, 26 to 19. 
We'll be taking a quick break and we'll be right back with more live coverage of the NBL on BTV. Welcome back to our live coverage of the NBL on BTV. Second quarter underway between the Laguna Pistons and the Dasmarinas Ballers. One key stat stands out from that first quarter and that's the seven turnovers from the Dasmarinas Ballers. They find themselves down by seven as we start the second quarter. It's going to be Dasmarinas Ball now with 9.44 left here in the first quarter. Seven turnovers. Uh, you know, Dasmarina said they're going to struggle still to maintain possession. All those offensive fouls and those turnovers. Nice handoff from Castro. Jumper no good for Amponin. And Laguna taking it to the other rack. And Hilario draws the foul right there. Tingnan nga natin yung replay right there. Mark Sornet with a hard foul right there on uh, Alexis Hilario. So Laguna Pistons, you take a look at their jersey, it actually reminds me of the mid-2000s Gilas Pilipinas squad, if you remember uh, those Chris led teams. Parang ganyan ni itsura ng jerseys nila. There's a shot of, uh, of uh, Coach Rex Dedicatoria and his coaching staff. Of course, the Pistons uh, currently at 3-1 and one on the season looking for their fourth win. Ooh, no good from the line on both shots. Hilario makes 0 for 2. Here's Hilario. Babawi. And that's good. Alexis Hilario, three points. Alexis Hilario with a three-pointer right there, pushing the lead to 10 for the Pistons. Kantimbuan trying to go with uh, something fancy, but Amponin, Amponin cleans up his mess. Second shot opportunity for Dasmarinas. On the other side, here's Laguna. Pump fake. Tries to lay it in. Wala. Rebounded by Das Marinas. Here's Sornet. Fastest guy on the floor. Nice spin move. Layup is no good. Amponin tries to clean it up again. But that's not going to count. It is going to be Laguna no ball. Offensive foul number seven, Justin Amponin. That is first. Justin Amponin getting called two, for an offensive foul right scored. there. Kaya hindi nag-count kasi uh, offensive foul ang tinawag kay Amponin. Nice drop pass down Lope. That's a turnover for Laguna. Das Marinas on the other end. Here's Cantimbuan. Wala. Cantimbuan struggling from the floor. Amil for Laguna on the other end. Tries to lay it in off the glass. Wala. Here's Rabe who touches it and loses possession for Das Marinas. Another turnover for the ballers who have really been having a hard time maintaining possession. Here's Laguna, quick layup, wala. Offensive rebound, no good for Deomano. And Das Marinas gets it back, here's Cantimbuan. Parang masyadong nagmamadali silang pareho, eh. like both Laguna and Das Marinas. And that's led to a lot of these careless possessions. Clifford Castro going from downtown, wala. And Castro gets the steal, he gets the ball back. Throws it to Rabe, down low, Rabe lays it in. No good offensive rebound. And he finally makes JP that jumper. Rabe. JP Rabe earning his keep. On the other side, here's Laguna. Drop pass once again, down low to Deomano, who doesn't make it, but draws the foul. Foul number 22, J.P. Rabe, that is second. Second foul on J.P. Rabe. Let's take a look at that last play right there. Time you can see Deomano trying to go up and lay it in, and he was pulled down by Rabe. He's going to get two shots at the line when we come back for more of the NBL on BTV. <laughs> NBL, 
Ikaw ang bigan ng bayan, homegrown Hanggang makipagsabayan, MP Back to the action, Deo Mano Misses the first free throw for Laguna But he makes it up and finishes that uh, trip to the foul line with one made free throw 30-23, that's our score. Here's Ampon in pump fake, blocked from behind by Hilario. Fast break now, here's Amil for Laguna. Pulls up, yes! Raymart Amil. Raymart Amil with his first basket. On the other end, here's Gabion for Dasmarinas. Nice pass to Sornet, he pulls up. And he makes it. Mark Sornet. Mark Sornet, nakaapak lang sa line, sa three point line. That's why that's going to be a two. On the other side, here's Hilario. He pulls up from inside the perimeter, rebounded by Cantimbuhan. Dasmarinas is going to run. Defense collapsing on Cantimbuhan. He gets blocked, but Gabriana gets the rebound. That's a three pointer, and that's good for Gabion. John Gabion. Not a three-pointer. Apparently, his foot is also on the line. So it's going to be a 2 30, 32-27. On the other side, that's a missed three-pointer for Sandoval. Rebound goes to Dasmarinas. That's a steal. Sandoval John gets it, and Sandoval. he lays it in. Sean Sandoval with a strong performance so far off the bench. Warning on the Pistons. Sandova putting the pressure on Gabion. Here's Sornet. Sornet getting hot right now. That's another long two for Mark Sornet. Here's Laguna. Perimeter J, no good for Deomano. Offensive rebound for Hilario. And there's a foul. Well, Foul's gonna be on Justin Amponin of Dasmarinas, his second personal. Let's look at that last play right there where Hilario was trying to go up against the trees of Dasmarinas. He had three defenders on him, got hacked, now he's at the line. Technical foul on Dasmarinas baller squad. Or continuous complaining will be charged to the head coach. The Dasmarinas Ballers Club have been charged with a technical foul for so continuous position. complaining. Coach Asli Guro obviously not, not happy with that call. Bunch of substitutions now on both squads as Hilario gets set to take a couple of foul shots. Was a racing double for Alexis Hilario. Sorry, the Sean Sandoval at the line first taking the technical free throw. He makes it. Coach Aziguro still on his feet. Medyo di mapakale, obviously, after that last call. Two free throws for Alexis Hilario. And now here's Alexis Hilario stepping up to the line for his first, his first trip. Misses right there. And he makes it this time. Hilario shooting two of four from the free throw line this afternoon. Here comes Las Marinas. Gabion putting the moves on, trying to get rid of Sandoval. Sandoval, though, a sticky defender. Ayun, naiwanan na. Gabriana drawing the foul in the paint. He gets fouled by Argilias right there. Foul on number 18, Leonard Argilias. That is first. Taking a look at that replay. Here's Gabriana trying to take it hard to the rack. Met by two defenders from Laguna, and he draws the foul from Argilias. Vincent Gabriana now at the line for Dasmarinas. Gabriana missing his first free throw. This is also his first opportunity at the charity stripe. He goes one for two. 
three points for Vincent Gabriana. Meanwhile, Laguna, nice ball movement, and that's a nice reverse Leonard layup. Arguilles. Leonard Argilius. His first basket score. for the Pistons, and Dasmarinas calls timeout. We'll be right back with more NBL action. It's Laguna 38, Dasmarinas 30. Welcome back to your live coverage of the NBL on BTV. We're coming to you live from the Hagone Sports Complex in Taguig. Midway through our second quarter, and Laguna is up 38 to 30 against Das Marinas. Das Marinas ball right now. Gabion. Nice display of ball handling right there, but that's a turnover. Gabriana asking the refs why he didn't get the foul call right there. Laguna losing control of that possession though. So it's going to be Das Marinas ball with four minutes and 20 seconds left in the second quarter. Here's Gabriana going inside. Nice move, Vincent, Vincent Gabriana. Gabriana. Taking it hard for Das Marinas. Gabriana now with five points. Layup inside is no good. Second shot opportunity. Arigilias gets the foul right there and he's gonna go to the line. Foul number one, Nino De Los Santos. Nino De Los Santos getting called for his first personal foul. There's Arigilias with the rebound. Tries to go up and he's fouled from behind by De Los Santos who tried to block that shot. Arigilias is able to make his first free throw. And Arguilas misses that free throw, gets the rebound. Tries to go fancy down low, but no good. Rebounded by Das Marinas. Here's Cantimbuhan. Nice pass to Clifford Castro, but it hits the back of the rim and it's rebounded by Sandoval. Nice layup right there for King Fadriquela. On the other end, Fadriquela with the steal. Sandoval has the ball. Good ball movement from Laguna. And that's a layup. Another made basket for Laguna. Coach Aziguro clearly upset. And now Laguna is up by 11, 43 to 32 as we take another break. We'll be back with more NBL on BTV as we take a look at that last replay. That's how you finish a fast break opportunity. Welcome back to your live coverage of the NBL on BTV. A little over three minutes to go in the first half. Ali play could not convert, but Gabriana gets the rebound and cashes in on that second chance opportunity. Cutting the lead down to nine. Laguna with the ball. Here's Felix to Peña for three. Wala, rebounded. And that is good for Argilius. Leonard Argilius with a hustle off the bench. Nagpapakitang gilas tong si Argilius. Meanwhile, on the other end, that's a three-pointer for Das Marinas, way off the mark. Here's Fadriquela going inside, stops and pops. Wala, rebounded by Das Marinas. They go the other end. Sornet stops. Kita niya, wala pa siyang kakampe. Gives it to Castro. Castro gets that screen from Gabriana. Castro guarded by Felix. De Los Santos with the screen for Castro. Could not shake his man though. Cantimbuan is blocked by Argilias on the other end. Fadriquela is running. Nice pass down low to Peña, who draws the foul from Clifford Castro. Foul number 10, Clifford Castro. Tinanatin yun, a nice pass from Fadriquela to Peña. Also Clearly, the Taman Shadun by uh, Clifford Castro. Shots. 
Norbert Pena. Two shots for Norbert Pena, his first trip to the line. First shot is no good. Oh, he goes 0 for 2 from the line right there. Another set of group substitutions for both squads. Here's Gabriana. He's had a good second quarter. That's Marinas now. Let's see if they can make something happen. Whistle's blown. That shooting motion doesn't count. This is not going to be a shooting foul. foul. Number 14, Norbert Pena. Norbert Pena getting called for his first personal foul. Second team foul for Laguna. La talaga, hindi nila papapasukin yan. Pushing foul number 18, Leonard Arguilas, that is second. Arguilas getting called for his second, second personal foul. That's going to be a pushing foul on him. Tignan natin how that happened. Ito si Amponin with the ball. Got that pump fake. And Arguilas fell for it. That's a three for Castro, and that's good. Three points. Clifford Castro. Clifford Castro with a long three. Bringing the lead to within single digits. It's 45 to 37. Laguna is still up, but Laguna wants to call timeout before Clifford Castro gets hot. We've talked about him being a microwave, so let's see what the Laguna Pistons come up with when we come back from the break. Babalik po tayo dito sa ating live coverage of the NBL on BTV. Almost down to our last minute here in the first half. Laguna is still up 45 to 37. Traveling. Traveling call right there on Andrew Felix or Andrew Felix. That's another turnover for the Laguna Pistons. Lamang pa rin sila by 8, 45 to 37. King Fadriquela having a strong second quarter. He's got eight points now for Laguna. Meanwhile, here's Das Marinas on the other end. Amponin close to center court, guarded by Argiles. Here's Cantibuan, almost double teamed by Felix and Argiles. Amponin takes a shot from the foul line, way off the mark, rebounded by Sandoval. Peña now passes it. Nice ball movement, baseline jumper for Laguna. That is good Leonard for Leonard Arguilles. He's got seven points and three boards now for Laguna. Last 30 seconds in the first half. Amponin setting the pick for Clifford Castro. Pulls up for three. No good. That's rebounded by Peña. Buti na lang kasi he was wide open on that last shot. 17 seconds left. Shot clock has been turned off. Felix with the ball. To Fadriquela in the corner. Back to Felix. Back to Peña. Peña driving inside. To Fadriquela on the outside. Hesitates. Takes the shot and makes it. Three King Fadriquela King finishes Fadriquela. the first half with 11 points. Leading the Laguna Pistons in scoring. And at the half, it is 48 to 37. Laguna up over Das Marinas. Let's take a look at that last shot for King Fadriquela. And that's a three. Laguna's up 50 to 37 as we end the first half. King Fadriquela with 11 points to lead the Laguna Pistons in scoring. We'll be right back with more of the NBL here on BTV as we go to the half. Welcome back to the Hagonai Sports Complex here in the city of Taguig for our live coverage of the NBL. This is our first game. For our doubleheader, Laguna is up 50 to 37 against the Das Marinas Ballers Club. Here are a few highlights from the first half of action. Mark Dacius with a three right there for Laguna. Now on the other end, Das Marinas trying to counter that with some perimeter shooting from JP Rabe. 
Laguna, though, has been dominating, and a lot of that has to do with them finishing on their second shot opportunities. As for Desmarinas, they've been trying to push the pace, but that's resulted in a lot of turnovers, both in the first quarter and in the second quarter. So let's take a look at the key stats here. As for field goal shooting, Dasmarinas really struggling from the floor, only shooting 38% compared to 47 for Laguna. Free throw shooting, Laguna has missed a lot of opportunities at the line, 6 of 17. But their bench has compensated for that. Uh, they've scored 31 points off the bench compared to only 14 for Dasmarinas. And speaking of the turnovers, both teams have been pretty... Uh, have been making a lot of mistakes in taking care of the ball. Eight turnovers for Laguna, 12 for Dasmarinas, and Laguna has capitalized by scoring 15 points off their turnovers. Now, here are the leading scorers for Laguna. King Fadriquela with 11 points, Sandoval has 8, and Leonard Arguiles has 7 off the bench. As for Dasmarinas, Clifford Castro off the bench with 8 points to lead them. Mark Sornet with 8 points as well, and Vincent Gabriana has 7 to pace the Das Marinas Ballers Club. We're getting set for the beginning of our third quarter of action and it's going to be Das Marinas ball with Mark Sornet inbounding for the Ballers. Here's Cantimbuan. Castro now over in the corner. Almost lost it and that's a block for Mark Dakis. On the other end, Padriquela loses, almost lost it and he finally does. Here's Cantimbuan with the ball. He's been struggling today. And that's another block for the Laguna Bigs. This time it's Ralph Pantaleon with the rejection. Laguna with the pass from Manaxa to Fadriquela, rebounded by Rabe. Rabe and Villadar is playing side by side in the front court for Dasmarinas. They're trying to bulk up. Baseline jumper is no good for Dasmarinas. Almost got the steal. Ari Santos misses it. Here's Fadriquela, offensive rebound, faded away, no good. Castro with the rebound, he's going the other way. Nice pass right there. Still no good for Sornet. Rebounded by Pantaleon. Here's Manaxa, lays it in, and there's a foul. So you're five on the floor for Dasmarinas, Villadares, and Rabe in the front court. And then you've got a three-guard lineup, Sornet, Cantibuan, and Castro. Take a look at that last replay. Manaxa draws that foul from Villadares. Here's Shin Manaxa at the line for two. That's good for Manaxa. For Laguna, your lineup is Pantaleon and Dakis in the front court. And then you've got Fadriquela. Ari Santos and Shin Manaxa in the backcourt. So both teams experimenting with three-guard lineups right now. Villadares, clear size mismatch. Oh, and he loses it in the post-up. Another turnover for Das Marinas. Manaxa. To Santos back to Manaxa. Dakis thought about shooting it from long distance, gives it to Fadriquela. Pantaleon loses that one. Cantimbuan going the other way and he lays it in. Cantimbuan with his first basket of the second half. He hasn't had a good scoring afternoon. Fadriquela over in the corner. Lost the ball, and it is going to be Dasmarinas' ball. Last touch, Fadriquela. Two minutes have elapsed in our second half. Cantibuan calling a play, getting a pick from, getting a pick from Villadares and from Rabe. Takes the three, and it is way off the mark, rebounded by Dakis. Steal by Cantibuan. Medyo may konting acting dun si Cantibuan, but... Dakis gets called for the foul. Blocking foul on number nine, Mark Dakis. That is third. Tinan nga natin yung replay dun. Cantimbuan going inside. Medyo na taman. Cantimbuan tried to go for the shooting motion so he could get the two free throws. Makes the first. Dun pa lang siguro sulit ni acting job. And he misses the second. Some people would call it karma, other people would call it fate. 
Shin Manaksa now with the ball. Guarded by Sornet. Here's Santos. Manaksa over in the corner. Gives it to Pantaleon. He's double teamed by the two bigs and he loses the ball. It's now Dasmarinas' ball. Cantimbuan lays it in off the glass. Cantimbuan with five points in the second half. Another steal for Dasmarinas. Here's Sornet. But he's outnumbered. He pulls up from the elbow. No good. Rebounded by Dakis. Now Laguna is pushing it. Dakis almost lost it right there. Not the best ball handler on the floor, but that's a nice pass to Manaxa, who's blocked by Rabe. Rabe on the other end to Castro. To Cantimbuan. Layup, no good. Cantimbuan with the offensive rebound gets his own miss. To Castro, who's on the outside. Cantibuan, right corner. Here's Rabe. To Villadares, who lays it in off Edward the glass. Villadares. And just Time like that, Das Marinas is now just down by eight. Timeout Laguna. We'll be right back with more NBL on BTV. Tonight with our live coverage of the NBL on DTV, here's a look at our commissioner, Mr. Nandi Garcia, enjoying the action. Got one of the best seats in the house. Meanwhile, Pantaleon misses that easy jumper. Cantimbuan with the ball for Dasmarinas gets the outlet pass from Villadares. He's fouled and he's going to go to the line for another pair of free throws. Cantimbuan making well, up for that poor nine, showing in the first is, half. That is four. Team foul number two for Laguna Pistons. Mark Dach is getting called for his fourth line, personal foul already. First free throw is good for Cantimbuan. And Kandimbuan goes two for two. Kandimbuan si heating Arcadias up for Dasmarinas. Couple of substitutions now for Laguna. El Medrab is back in. He's replacing Pantaleon. Dak is also going to the bench. Arguiles now in his place for Laguna. Here's Padriquela back to Manaxa. Nice screen from El Medrab. Pull up, no good. Oh. Rabe tried to go for the rebound, but he got hit from behind. No foul right there. So it's going to be Laguna ball. Padriquela with the inbound. 24 second shot clock for Laguna. Gives it to Manaxa. Elbow jumper for El Medrab. Wala. Rebounded by Dasmarinas and Cantembuan is off to the races now. Nice pass. Try to lay it in through the trees. Wala rebounded by Laguna. Here's Manaxa. Loses Villadares right there. Nice pass. Jumper is no good for Santos though. And it's Mark Sornet and Clifford Castro with the rebound for Dasmarinas. Six point deficit na lang for Dasmarinas. They did a very good job of clawing their way back into this here in the, in the second half. Cantimbuan, spin move, pump fake, almost made it, no good, rebound by Santos, and Santos outlet pass na kuha ni Arguilas before it hit the out of bounds. Nice three, three for Fadriquela. points, King Fadriquela. King Fadriquela with 14 points now. Big three, pushing the lead back to nine for the Pistons. Mad scramble there, and did Manaxa draw a foul? I think he did. Foul on number zero, Puroy Cantimbuan. Yeah, that that's going to be on Cantimbuan. His first personal. Alponin coming in for Edward Villadares. Clifford Castro with that long range bomb. Raymond Amil. No good, rebounded by Manaxa. Ayun, natamaan siya ni Cantimbuan. Raymond Amil in the game for Laguna. He's replacing Manaxa, who goes to the bench for a quick seat. El Medrab now, triple teamed. 
Pero isang talon lang niya, wala. Para he had the airspace. Couldn't make the jumper though. Here's Cantimbuan going inside. Rebounded by El Medrab. Padriquela to Arguiles. Nice pass to Amil. Changing direction in midair. No good. Rebounded by Fadriquela. Going inside. Nice move. King, King Fadriquela. 16 points now. Cantimbuan goes up against Poroy. El Medrab. Cantibuan is like, I don't care if you're like a foot taller than me. I'm going to make this through you. He willed that ball in. Raymart Amil now with the ball. Sandoval. Arguiles. Elbow jumper. Wala. Cantimbuan with the outlet pass to Sornet. Here's Sornet with the layup. And he's fouled from behind by Amil. Sornet drawing the foul right there. Let's take a look at that last replay. Four, Amil, Amil hitting the forearm first. of Sornet as he was trying to go for the layup. Sornet now Jan at the line. Comes in for Poroy, Here's Gabion in the game Dufal for Cantimbuan. Meanwhile, Sornet has a chance to trim the lead down to seven for her. From, from the foul line and he is no good on that opportunity this is Mark Sarnett's first trip to the foul line he goes one for two eight point deficit na lang for Das Marinas Amil running the point for Laguna Laguna not using a lot of picks, but when they do, they're very heavy and hard-hitting. Look at El Medrab on that last pick. Steal right there. Let's credit that to Sornet. Rabe gives it to Gabion. Back to Rabe. Going up. And that's good. JP Rabe. JP Rabe trying to get the Dasmarinas bench to get up on their feet. Konti support nga lang naman, sabi niya. Das Marinas going to the zone. Fadriquela corner three. And that's rebounded by Das Marinas. Here's Gabion with the ball. Gets that pick from Amponin. R Rabe at the foul line. Nice pass inside to Amponin who opens himself Justin up and lays it in. Amponin from Clifford Castro. Give the assist to Clifford Castro. Justin Amponin's like, isa pa, isa pa. Oh, and that pass goes out of bounds. Sandoval it's a backing overestimated. Amil had to recover it, and by then, backcourt na. Coach Rex the Dedicatoria feeling a bit of the pressure now that the lead is just down to four with two minutes 21 left in the third quarter. There's a timeout. It's a four point differential between the Laguna Pistons and the Dasmarinas Ballers. Laguna is still up, but let's see if that's going to change by the end of the third quarter as we get to this quick break on BTV. <laughs> Welcome back to our live coverage of the NBL on BTV. Naririnig po ngayon yung official theme song of the NBL. Pinamagatang Homegrown by Ezro. He produced that song himself, wrote it, and performed it. It's now available on pretty much all of your major digital platforms, including Spotify, iTunes, and Apple Music. Again, it's Homegrown by Ezro. Back to the action now in this third quarter of play, and... We've got some beautiful Filipinas in the house supporting their favorite teams. Yan ang isa sa mga nagpapaingan niya sa ating mga players kapag nag, uh, nagsilabasan ang mga nagagandahang dalagita. But of course, it's not just about the women. It's about the love of the game. It's about the passion. Yun ang dahilan kung bakit tayo nagkaroon ng tahanan ng tunay na homegrown. Siyempre kung first time nyo lang po napapanood ang NBL. Kung sinabi natin Laguna Pistons, eto mga players, et, ang, ang coaching staff, lahat yan, mga laking Laguna. Ang Dasmarinas Ballers, lahat yan, mga laking Dasmarinas. Born and raised. Just like John Daniel Gabion right there, who goes inside and draws the foul. Foul on number 45, Sean Sandoval. That is first. That foul is going to be on Sean Sandoval. His first Pistons. foul. 
fourth team foul for the Pistons. They'll be in the penalty after this next foul. Gabion calling for a play. Gets that pick from Amponin. Gets that pick from Rabe. He's double teamed though and Gabion was held down. Draws the foul and now he is going to the line for a Holy couple of freebies. Rajal Medrab called for that foul there. Ayuno, he put his hands on Gabion. So that's going to be a hack. Gabion calmly makes the first free throw. And this is as close as the Desmarinas Ballers have gotten in the third quarter. They're now just down by two. It's a one possession game. One possession game now. John Gabion converting at the line his first trip. Two for two. two minutes. Last two minutes here in the third quarter. Pulling up and that is good. Leonard Arguilles. For Leonard Arguilles. Fading away. Here's Gabion trying to get, trying to lose a mil. Gabion pulls up. Voila. Rebounded by Laguna. Here's Sandoval. Nice bounce pass. Diokitado could not convert though, and the whistle blows. Foul on number seven, Justin Amponin. That's going to be on That's Justin Amponin of Das Marinas, his third personal. Let's take a look at that last play. Yun, may push. Tinulak niya, kaya niya na rebound. For JP Rabe and Poroy Cantimbuhan, returning for Mark Sornet. Sornet and Rabe going to the bench. Candibuan and Villadares back in for Das Marinas. Amil looking for a teammate. And he finds one in Ray Sandoval. He's the Quitado. To Amil. Cross court pass. Sean Sandoval to Ray Sandoval. Uh, to Dio Quitado misses the perimeter jumper rebounded by Cantimbuhan who runs the other way. Stolen from behind. Sana, yun gusto mangyari ni Sean Sandoval but they get the turnover anyway from Das Marinas. 59-55, two-possession game. Let's see if Laguna can extend the lead right here on this play. Amil finds Sean Sandoval. Long three. Wala. Rebounded by Cantimbuan. Cantimbuan drawing the foul from Amil. Talagang dinikitan sa half court. Locking foul number four, Raymart Amil, penalty. This is the second foul. And Laguna of is Raymart in the penalty. Amil. At the foul line, shooting two, Poroy Cantimbuhan. So let's uh, look at Cantimbuhan, who's at the line once again. He's had an explosive third quarter. Microwave, come microwave. Coach Asdi Gura wiping the sweat off his forehead, knowing that Cantimbuan has heated up. Substitution. John Biscara coming in for Clifford Castro. That's 15 points for Cantimbuan. Clifford Castro going to the bench now. He's replaced by John Viscara. He's Amil to Argiles. Down low, Diokitado passes it back out to Ray Sandoval. Free throw line jumper, wala. He is fading away and heavily contested. Smothered even. Cantimbuan all the way. Yes! Justin Amponin. Oh, that's going to be credited to Amponin because he tipped it back in as an offensive rebound. You can hear the defense chants from the Dasmarina side of the court. 11 seconds remaining. Shot clock's been turned off. Amil calling for the horns. Sean Sandoval. With a three, no good. Rebounded by Amponin. Here's Gabion. One second. Cantimbuan could not throw up a shot. And at the end of the third quarter, Cantimbuan just exploded. It's 59 all between the Laguna Pistons and the Das Marinas Ballers. In large part, thanks to John Cantimbuan and his huge third quarter. We'll take another break. When we come back, it's the final period between the Laguna Pistons and the Das Marinas Ballers Club.
Welcome back to your live coverage of the NBL on BTV. If you're just joining us, sakto lang po, because we are just about ready to start our fourth quarter. It's 59 all between the Laguna Pistons and the Dasmarinas Ballers Club. Nakabawi ang Dasmarinas thanks to John Cantimbuan, who scored 13 points in the third quarter, reminding everyone why he's one of the leading scorers in this league. Meanwhile, it is Laguna ball. King Fadriquela lost possession right there. On the shot clock. But Laguna maintains possession. 19 seconds on the clock. Fadriquela to Santos. Back to Fadriquela. He was open for a while. Na double team na. Manaksa back to Fadriquela. 4-3. Bang! King Fadriquela. King Fadriquela. Now has 19 points. That's a game high. It's a showdown between Fadriquela and Cantimbuan at this point for scoring. Villadares going up against Dakis. Spin move. And he's blocked by the longer Dakis. Pantaleon gives it to Manaxa. Driving inside. And she banks it in Manaxa. off the glass. Manaxa's now got eight points. Here's Clifford Castro. He's been struggling so far. Only eight points. And one for four from downtown so far. Nice pass down low to Cantimbuan. Cantimbuan goes back outside. Here's Castro for three. No good. Make that one for five from long distance. Rebounded by Santos. To Manaxa, who pulls up for three. No good. Rebounded by Clifford Castro. Outlet to Cantimbuan, almost lost it. Boot nilang pumara si Cantimbuan. Goes inside and that's gonna be a foul on King Fadriquela. Tinahan natin yung replay right there. Cantimbuan gets the ball from Castro. Goes foul inside, tries to King float it in and draws the foul from Fadriquela. And Fadriquela's like, sino ako? Amponin back in the game. So is Rabe. You're five on the floor for Laguna. It's Manaxa who's... Uh, Two shots for Roy Candembuhan. It's Manaxa, Santos, Fadriquela, Pantaleon, and Dakis. As for Dasmarinas, we've got Candembuhan who's at the line. He made his first free throw along with Vizcara, Rabe, Castro, and Amponin. Cantimbuan is two for two. He's got 19 points now for Das Marinas, tied with Fadriquela for the game high. Dribble handoffs for Laguna. Here's a drive to Dakis. Calmly lays it in off the assist from Shin Manaxa. One of the better passers in the NBL. Cantimbuan almost lost it. That foul's gonna be on Manaxa. Holding foul number 23, Shin Manaxa, that is first. It's a holding Team foul, that's his two first personal. Pistons. Team foul number two for Laguna. Tingnan, tingnan natin how that happened. And you know, hinahawa kanya si Cantimbuan to prevent him from getting the ball. Meanwhile, back to the action. That jumper is no good for Das Marinas, but Tamponin cleans Amponin. up the mess of his teammate. Lays it in. It's like, I got you, JP Rabe. I got you. Justin Amponin with six points now. Manaksa. Oh, naharang ni Amponin, but he was able to spin inside. Recovered by Ari Santos. Elbow jumper. Wala. Rebounded by Rabe, but that's poked by Manaksa. It's going to be Dasmarinas' ball. Last touch, Laguna. Here's Castro. Let's see if he can make something happen on this play. Nice assist. Or it would have been an assist. No good. Laguna back the other end. And whistle blown. There's a foul. Unsportsmanlike foul. Foul. 
Jan Viscarov, that's Marinas clearly unhappy with that call. Let's look at the replay. Here's Manaksa. Not necessarily a clear path foul, but they uh, called it an unsportsmanlike foul on Viscara. Coach Asley of uh, Dasmarinas also not happy with that. Foul on number nine, John Viscara. That is first foul. Substitution Mark Sornet replaces. All right, John so Viscara, Viscara gets called for a personal foul, not an unsportsmanlike foul. So Viscara is pretty happy with that call. Laguna with the ball. Manaksa going inside. Nice pass to Dakis who lays it in unimpeded. Dakis. Mark Dakis having a strong showing. Pistons up 67-63. 6.40 left in, the, in regulation. Here's Rabe trying to spin inside and that's taken by Manaksa. Padriquela gets the outlet pass. Navigates his way through the defense King of Clifford Castro Padriquela. and lays it in. King Padriquela, he's got 20. Cantimbuan with another Boy, layup. Cantimbuan. That's 21 for Cantimbuan. It's a showdown between Cantimbuan and Padriquela. Pistons still up by 4, 69 to 65. Those are some, some good numbers right there. And there's a foul. That's going to be on Castro. Holding foul on number 10, Clifford Castro. That is second. Team foul number two for Desmarinas. Manaxa got the ball there on the corner. Tried to go inside and holding foul on Clifford Castro. But it's not much contact for JP Robin. We have to give it to our referees for being on top of all the action. Meanwhile, Vincent Gabriana returns to the game, replacing JP Arabe of uh, Das Marinas. Inside pass to Fadriquela. Goes out of bounds. It is Laguna Ball. Fadriquela with the inbound. 18 seconds left on the shot clock. Gives it to Manaxa. Manaxa asking for a pick, and Pantaleon gives it to him. He ignores it to Fadriquela in the corner. Back to Manaksa, baseline jumper is Shin good. Shin Manaksa. Shin Manaksa playing very well for Laguna today. He's got 10. Kantimbuan once again down low, 23 Boroy points Kantimbuan. for Kantimbuan. He is carrying the Das Marinas Ballers Club on his back. Meanwhile, here's Manaxa. He's got 10 points, 5 boards, 5 dimes. All-around game so far. Dakis with the perimeter jumper. Voila, rebounded by, Amponi, uh, by Gabriana. Cantimbuan with the ball once again. He passes it to Gabriana and that's stolen by Ari Santos. Here's Manaxa. Nice pass to Fadriquela who lays it Green in. Fadriquela from Shin Manaksa. Manaksa with six Final assists Dasmarinas now in the Ballers. game. And Fadriquela's got 22 points. Timeout, Das Marinas. Laguna's up 71 67. Welcome back to the NBL on BTV. Four minutes and 30 seconds left in the fourth quarter. 73-67, Laguna is up. Das Marinas with another basket Vincent this time from Gabriana. Vincent Gabriana. Vincent Gabriana now with nine points. For Laguna, the story is how Ralph Pantaleon and Ari Santos are still both scoreless. And it's King Fadriquela who's really stepped it up for Laguna. He's got 22 points. Shin Manaksa, 10 points and 6 assists. Ari Santos gets his first field goal. Ari Santos. That took a while. That took almost 16 minutes of game time action for Santos to finally get a field goal. That uh, coming off of his 12 for 13 field goal shooting game against Nueva Ecija. 
funny how parang bilog talaga ang mundo para sa Laguna Pistons and yet they still find themselves up because there's always someone who steps up next man up ika nga oh no look pass from Manaska, uh, Manaksa no good here's Sornet lays it in and off the glass Mark Sornet and he's got the end one opportunity Mark Sornet foul on number two Aris Santos join the foul on Aris Santos Sornet now in double digits he's got 11 Pistons. Let's take a look at the replay here. Sornet all the way. The yes, the ball, off the glass. Mark Sornet. Sornet has only been to the line once today. One for two from the line. Make that two for three on that play. 12 points for Mark Sornet Time of Las Marinas. Laguna Pistons. Laguna calls timeout. 75-72, Desmarinas now just down by three. We'll take a break and be back with more of the NBL on BTV. That's a look at Miss Rose Montreal, the VP for marketing of the NBL, one of the women who really make things happen here in the National Basketball League. Welcome back to the action. In case you're just joining us, we've got a double header this afternoon. Our first one about to end here. Three minutes and 25 seconds left in the fourth quarter between the Laguna Pistons and the Dasmarines Ballers. Shin Manaksa recovering the ball for Laguna goes up with a floater, and that's good. Basket counts for Shin Manaksa. And one for Manaksa. Foul on number 22, J.P. Rabe, that is third. J.P. Rabe oh, called shot. for his third foul. She, Manaksa. Manaksa with a floater calmly dropping that in. Ganda ng stroke. Let's see if Manaksa can complete the three-point play. Yes, he does. Manaksa now with 13 points. Five rebounds and seven assists for the Pistons as we approach the three-minute mark here in the fourth quarter. Gabriana driving inside. Lay could not bank it in. Rebounded by Pantaleon. Nice outlet pass. Ari Santos with the reverse layup. Tried to get pretty. Rebounded by Gabriana. Here's Cantimbuan. Going left. Stops. Pump fake. And that's Roy good. Cantimbuan. Cantimbuan with 25 points. You can hear the chance of defense from the Dasmarinas bench. They're now just within four. Padriquela down low to Dakis. Dakis, parang may buttery fingers yanon. Couldn't get the pass. That goes out of bounds. Another turnover for Laguna. Eighteen turnovers now for Laguna in this ball game, as opposed to Dasmarinas. Post up, J.P. Rabe. Nice pass down low. Vincent Gabriana. To Gabriana. He's got 11. He's now in double digits. At this point, Laguna's got more Last turnovers than Das Marinas. Two minutes. minutes remaining in the game proper. Manaksa trying to get that layup, but he's fouled and he goes to the line for two. It's Clifford Castro getting Locking that foul. On number 10, Clifford Castro, that is third. Third personal that foul for Clifford Castro. Forearm Shin on forearm Shin contact. Manaksa trying to extend the lead here. And he does. One of the key stats is the turnover battle. Laguna's got 18 turnovers. Compared to Dasmarinas, who's been behind but only has 16 turnovers. They really took good care of the ball in the third quarter, and a lot of that has to do with Cantimbuan and his scoring explosion. He had 13 points in the third. Meanwhile, Manaksa sinks both free throws, pushing the lead to four. It's 80 to 76. Laguna still up. Couple of pump fakes right there from Cantimbuan. Goes right, voila, rebounded by Pantaleon. Manaksa calling for Ari Santos who gets the ball to Padriquela. 
They're moving around. Dak is asking for it. And that's tipped away by Cantimbuan. One minute Six 25 left in the fourth. Six seconds to shoot. Six seconds to shoot for Laguna. That's Dakis inbounding. Santos to Fadriquela. Back to Santos. Elbow jumper. No good. Rebounded by Dakis. And he Mark lays it in. Dakis. Second chance opportunity for Mark Dakis. One minute, 15 seconds left to go in the fourth quarter. Das Marinas calls timeout. We'll be right back with the thrilling conclusion to our first game in today's doubleheader. And we're back with one minute and 15 seconds left in the fourth quarter between the Laguna Pistons and the Dasmarinas Ballers. The Pistons have played basically their starting lineup for virtually the entire fourth quarter. Mark Dak is right there with that last basket for Laguna. He's brought his totals up to 10 points and nine rebounds off that offensive rebound. It's JP Rabe doesn't give it to Kandimbuan. Gabriana to Sornet from downtown and rebounded by Laguna. Santos gives it to Manaxa. One minute left. Laguna trying to hold off Das Marinas here. Padriquela. Oh, and that is spiked by Gabriana. Goes out of bounds. 12 seconds, on the shot clock. 12 seconds on the shot clock for Laguna. Who's Dak is looking for? Oh, that slips through the hands of Pantaleon and that's gonna go to Das Marinas. Another turnover for Laguna. And they've really struggled to, to take care of the ball here in the second half. Timeout, Das Marinas bowlers. Timeout, Das Marinas. Coach Asli Guro wants to talk it over with the boys once again. 82-76, that's still the score. We'll come back with more NBL on BTV. And we're back with more NBL on BTV. Das Marinas Ballers Club trying to mount a comeback against the Laguna Pistons who have held the lead for majority of this game. 49.7 sec uh, seconds left in bound to Castro. Corner three. Hits the top of the backboard, but that's no good. And Sornet is going to go to the line. Let's take a look at that replay. Castro finds Sornet on the right corner, takes the three, and that foul is going to be on Manaxa, his second personal. Sornet just makes that first shot nonchalantly. These are key free throws for Das Marinas. If Sornet makes all three, it's going to be a one possession game. And that's crucial given that there are only 44 seconds left in this ballgame. Coach Asli Guro barking instructions from the sideline. And Sornet makes all three. It's a three-point game. Laguna now being met with a full-court pressure defense. And here's the risk. You risk the fast-break opportunity of the outlet pass. Ari Santos, that's only his second made field goal, makes it. And now he's got an opportunity at a three-point play. Let's take a look at the replay. Manaxa with the outlet pass to Ari Santos. Ilunahan in defensa makes the layup through the contact from Das Marinas. And now he's got a chance to complete the three-point play. Santos doesn't make it. But it's going to be Das Marinas ball. Lane violation right there from Shin Manaxa. Laguna still up by 5, 84, 79. But you can see the desperation in Das Marinas. Cantimbuan breaking free right there. Pasok sa loob. 
Layup is blocked by Mark Dach. It's not in my house, he says. It's getting foul testy. Number 23, Shin Manaksa, that is third. with a foul. On that last play, Manaksa fouls Kantimbuhan. Kaya di rin magka-count yung block ni Mark Dacis. Sayang. Kantimbuhan at the line. He has a chance to cut this to a one-possession game again. 35 seconds remaining for this ball game. Kantimbuan is good on the first. Das Marinas now just down by four with 35 seconds left. Here's Kantimbuan. Let's see what he does here. Does he intentionally miss or does he sink this one? He misses it and that's rebounded by Pantaleon. Now Laguna has got the ball. They were trying to trap Manaksa. Now it's going to be a foul. Foul on number 10, Clifford Castro. Penalty. That's foul on Clifford foul. Castro. He's now uh, Clifford and uh, Das Marinas is now in the penalty. Castro is one foul away from fouling out and Manaksa has to go to the line to try and sink two shots. Let's go to the replay. Off the rebound by Pantaleon. Manaxa is being double teamed by Cantimbuan and Castro. Castro really trying to cover and smother him. And he gets called for a foul. Manaksa can make both shots and extend the lead to six, to make it much, much 10, harder for the ballers. Castro and number two, Harris Santos for trash talking. And a couple of warnings have been issued to Clifford Castro of Das Marinas and Ari Santos of Laguna for trash talk. We got to hand it to our officials. They really want to be on top of everything. And that's a miss at the line. Mark Sornet. Pedal to the metal, pulls up for three. Voila, rebounded by Dakis. 20 seconds to go, and that's that's about it for this ball game. All Laguna has to do is to sit on the ball. There's an unsportsmanlike foul called. 10.8 seconds na lang, and there's a foul. Tingnan natin ko ng decision ng officials. Looking at the replay. And that happened away from the action, away from the camera. I believe that involved Mark Daki. So the foul is going to be called on Kantimbuan. And he has to go to the bench. He basically can't finish the game. Really disappointing for Kantimbuan, who lit up during the second uh, the second half. Sayang, 80-85. Uh, that's was probably going to be the final score here. Kantimbuan finishes with 26 points, nine of 23 from the field, though really struggled. Did not make any shots from downtown. comes in for Poroy Kantimbuan. Meanwhile, we've got Brito stepping in for Kantimbuan for this last 10.8 uh, seconds in the game. Two free throws for Ralph Pantaleon. Plus Ralph Pantaleon at the line right now. His first trip. No good. Pantaleon still scoreless after having that 14.10 rebound performance against Tagig last week. And he finally gets himself on the board. He's got one point to go with his eight rebounds and one block today. Speaking of double-doubles, Mark Dakis now with a double-double, 10 points and 10 rebounds. Again, all Laguna has to do is to keep possession, sit on it here, and we're going to call ball game. 
Das Marinas looks like it still wants to extend the game somehow. Sornet fouls Manaxa. That's 17 for Manaxa. 9 of 10 from the free throw line. He shot very well from the charity stripe. Make that 9 for 11. And on the other end, Mark Sornet for 3. Rebounded by Rabe. JP Rabe. Makes the last basket, 87-82, 2 seconds left. Raymart Amil comes in for Aris Santos. And Aris Santos goes to the bench to be replaced by Raymart Amil for these last two seconds. And Manaxa gets the ball, and that's the game. Laguna Pistons with another win. They're now at 4 and 1 for this season, defeating the Dasmarinas Ballers Club 87 82. As for Dasmarinas, they continue to struggle in the standings. They drop to 1 and 4 on the season. We're going to be taking another break, and when we come back, we'll talk to our best player of the game. There's more NBL coverage here on BTV. <laughs> And we're back at the Hagone Sports Complex here in Taguig City. The Laguna Pistons just picked up another win against the Dasmarinas Ballers Club, 87-82. I'm sitting here with the best player of the game, King Fadriquela. King, 22 points, 4 rebounds, 3 assists. You really stepped up because sina Ralph Pantaleon and Ari Santos sila. They struggled, waited until the fourth quarter before they score. Uh, what, what, what made you decide that you were going to step up, you were going to score and you were going team? Uh, lagi pong sinasabi nila coach na pagtungtong ko po sa court eh focus lang lahat, lahat po sila pinupush ako para pas, pagsikapan ko po yung paglalaro ko sa loob uh, This is your fourth win of the season and so far uh, wh what can you say about the level of competition na nakita mo dito sa NBL? Uh, tulad po nung ibang manlalarong nandito halos lahat po sila eh binibigay lahat ng best nila kaya po yung pagtungtong ko pa lang uh, binibigay ko na lahat, buhos talaga. Alright, King, congratulations. This is your moment, so cherish it. Batiin mo na yung family mo, yung friends mo, lahat ng mga mahal mo sa buhay. Uh, Unang-una po sa lahat, nagpapasalamat po ako sa Panginoon at binigay niya po sa amin itong apat na pagkapanalo. Saka po nagpapasalamat po kay Boss Amil, tapos po sa coaching staff, kila Coach Raymond, kila Coach Rex, kila Coach Edmond, kila Coach LJ. Una-una sa, ano, sa asawa ko na laging nandiyan, nakasuporta sa akin. Yung family niya, kay nanay, tatay, kila, ano, primera uno, kay Mami Mel, kay, Mami Al Ay, kay Tatay Alert, kay, kila, ano, sa mga teammates ko, sa buong Laguna, sa mga tagapakil, kumpare ko, sa mga, ano, sa team pension, sa team primera uno, saka sa All-Star Aces, sa mga kumpare kong nandiyan sa Laguna at sa Binyan. Pati salamat kay Boss Jel, kay, ano, Kuya Almer, kay Huawei Tribo, yun. Sa kanilang lahat, salamat. Alright, King, congratulations. Best player of the game. Fourth win for the uh, Laguna Pistons. Stick around because up next, we've got our main event. It's the hometown, the Gig Generals, taking on the Bulacan Makabayan here on BTV. <laughs> Ito ang digan ng bayan, homegrown Hanggang makipagsabayan MPR Ito ang digan ng bayan